One of the things that I have to do every day is keep an eye on ransomware. It sounds easy, but it's not. Dozens and dozens of data leak sites, telegram channels, data dumps, it's a mess. Maybe you're a cyber threat intelligence analyst, or maybe you're doing an OSINT investigation for a concerned party, or maybe you're law enforcement and you're gonna take some interesting action. But if you've ever tried to track this stuff manually, you will know how hard it is. So let's jump into Flare and I'll show you around the ransomware landscape. Okay, so we're inside of Flare. I'm over on the events tab on the left-hand side and I'm gonna change from my tenant, which is my world, garyruddle.com and switchfire.co. We're gonna switch off of the tenant onto the global search head. I'm gonna change the date range to be last year, late 2023. I don't wanna show any new, recent, fresh attacks. Negotiations and remediation could still be going on in those things, so we want to be a little bit respectful. But this stuff is largely in the public domain, so it isn't terrible to show the stuff from last year. Let's just go back 1st of August until end of the year and click Apply. And in the category section, I'm going to turn everything off. We're going to come in here to the ransom leaks and we'll apply that. And then we could search for a gang name like Lockbit, for example, but we could just type asterisk, which is the wild card, just shows us every event in the Flare database. And they have billions of data points inside of Flare's platform. We're just seeing the ones that are in those categories. So this is all of them. As you can see, there are over 12,000 events within that date range from August all the way through to the end of the year. That's nuts. And if we just scroll down some of these, you can start to see things jump out at you. You can see here a ransom leak on the Play ransomware data leak site. Play is one of the bigger ransomware groups, and they appear to have hit something called Madison Capital and WPM and the Time Group, potentially in the United States. Here's their domains, and if we click on this, you can see here on the right-hand side, we get this nice panel. There's a summary. You actually get to see some of the content. That's the content from the data leak site. This is the website that the gang uses to host the threat. You know, we're gonna leak this data if you don't pay us all the money. That's where it is. That's where this is coming from. The severity, the leaked files. Sometimes you see leaked files in here. We'll click through a few more of these and you'll probably see some file names of files that the gang has in their possession. And then we have the AI assist button. The AI assist function is really, really cool. It summarizes what's going on within that incident for you in a really clever way and it works really well. So you get a quick summary, some details and some remediation. So let's go back to the summary. You can see here as well, you got this URL. This is the Onion site on the Tor network where the data leak site is hosted. I have Tor here. I've just copied that address. I'll paste it in here. I'll be blurring these URLs out. I don't want you guys going on these data leak sites in case you download something and get infected or just bad things can happen. So that's why it's blurred out. But here you can see this is the data leak site. It doesn't look overly pretty. You can see the word play in the background because that's the play ransomware gang. And if we look down this, there's an unknown amount of data, weird, but it's been viewed 13,000 times. I don't know if when Flare systems do a scrape, if that counts as a view. We also get the date that were added, the publication date of the data. So it does look like these guys didn't pay up, which is good, don't pay ransomware gangs, very smart. But that means that the gang has provided the download link. So this URL here, and this is the password here. Again, blurred out for your safety. If I copy this, open up a new tab, paste it in, here we go, these are the RAR files, like zip files almost. We could download these and then come back here and use this password to open those files. And inside there you can see it says private and personal, confidential data, client documents, budgets, IDs, payroll, insurance, taxes, finance information. It's a crazy, crazy business. And it makes about a billion dollars a year. So let's see what else we can find. 30th of December, nice way to end the year. Play hits the Kaiser Mason ball, apparently. Let's click into this one. Again, we got download links and passwords here. So this data was leaked, which means they probably didn't pay the ransom. Let's see if we can see some files. None in that one. Kenya Airways. Let's look at this one. TF, 
AMD Microelectronics. Here we go, 30,347 leaked files. DWG files, I'm pretty sure a DWG file is like a digital drawing file. Yeah, there we go, 2D and 3D CAD type software. So this is a company, a microelectronics company that designs things in computer-aided design software. They've been compromised. There's some backup files, those .back files, PDFs. It's crazy, isn't it? These file names don't really tell you too much. These are potentially, you know, project names and numbers and things that they're working on. But sometimes the file names can be, you know, Ruddle, comma, Gary, dash, passport. And you can just tell by looking at it what is in this dump. Here's a Lockbit attack. Lockbit is probably the biggest ransomware as a service group out there. The way it works is you got the Lockbit people that actually make the Lockbit software, the, the malware that does the damage. But they don't actually do the attacks. You or I could then go to Lockbit and rent that software and then pay them an affiliate commission. So if we then compromise, you know, some network and get a million dollars, they will take 20% as a cut. And this is a really interesting model because it separates the developer of the application from the people actually doing the bad stuff. It's a tough model for the likes of law enforcement to tackle. Now the FBI and the NCA and a bunch of other agencies did take down Lockbit very recently and it is back up again. Not even a week later and it's back online. How long it'll be online, who knows? I'm sure they got tons of intel. Maybe there'll be more arrests. That's really the only way to nip this stuff in the bud is to make arrests. Let's have a look at this one. This is Alv, also known as Black Hat, another big notorious ransomware group. They say they have compromised Okada Manila. Never heard of them. Okada Manila. It's a casino resort and hotel complex. Okay. And it says here, we have repeatedly tried to contact you but have been unsuccessful. So as a Christmas present, <laughs> we have decided to contact your customers and tell them they owe money to Okada Manila. If you still care about your reputation and your customers, I encourage you to get in touch with us. Use the link below. Let's take the link back over to Tor, pop it in. You can see these Tor sites are quite slow. That's because the traffic is going through multiple hops across a network. So you can see US, Germany, back to the US, and then out into some Onion Relay sites, and then all to the Alf V website. So here it is. This is the Alf V blog, if you want to call it that. And here you can see they have provided a photograph of the logo of the company. So we can confirm that it is them. And then these will be screenshots. I'll blur all this stuff out for you, but what I see on the right here is PDFs with file names on them. And then on the left hand side, these are confidentiality and non-disclosure agreements. There's not really much interest in on here, but there's a few people's signatures and things that I can't really read that well. Let's look at this one. Here's a screenshot from a desktop. This is what I was talking about. So these are little icons on a like a Windows desktop and Every icon is a preview of the picture. They're JPEG files of passports, but you can actually see the names of the people in the file name itself. So I can see a Rick and then a last name. I know now that Rick's passport is right there and these guys probably have access to it. So this is what they do. This is how they prove that they have access to the data. Here's a whole ton of PDFs. These all look like Asian names would be Chinese, Korean, Japanese, Thai names to me. I, I don't really know much about Asian names. And this one is an object explorer looking at a SQL Server database. So it shows the database that they had access to. Pretty tasty stuff. I think that's proof that they definitely did have access to Okada Manila's systems late last year. How that turned out, who knows? Did they pay the ransom? Maybe. Hard to say. And if we go back and look at the wider ALF V blog, again, I'll blur all these out because these are all fresh, recent attacks. You can't filter these by date. Um, but they're making a lot of attacks, making a lot of headaches for a lot of people around the world. 
And what you'll notice as well, and I find this fascinating, most of these companies you have never heard of. These are small, medium businesses just all around the world that make up most of the world's companies. You know, we all think Apple, Nike, you know, Microsoft, Meta, whatever. Those make up a tiny portion of the number of businesses around the world. All right, they make up a huge part of the economy financially, but in terms of companies, there are way more companies out there, you know, 99.9% .9 of all companies you've probably never heard of. And these are the ones that are getting hit because they don't have the systems in place and the security teams and the budgets and the awareness and the knowledge to protect themselves. And what makes it even funnier is that the gangs that are doing the attacks attack companies whose own technology they're using. You know, they hit hospitals and one day they will need to use the hospital and when one of these gang members is lying in bed in their little hospital bed, I don't wanna say I hope that hospital gets hit with ransomware, but if we can just hit them in their hospital bed with ransomware, maybe then they'll learn their lesson. So that is the world of ransomware. If you want to see more of Flare, I have a full tutorial link below and you can get a free trial using the link in the description. Stay safe.